All right, let's talk about working with triplets in Pro Tools. Okay, so for this video idea, what I did is I posted on threads and I asked people, what is something that you can't do in your DAW that you wish you could do? And I looked at the responses and what I figured today is we can do a shorty video, a really quick video where I show you one of those things. I don't know if the original person that said this works in Pro Tools, but I'm gonna show you how to do it in Pro Tools. So the prompt for this, what the person said was, how to best transition from triplicates into straight and vice versa. And so I think instead of triplicates, they meant triplets. That's what I'm gonna go with. So let's talk about working with triplets and Pro Tools. And while we're at it, we'll talk about working with Dota Notes. We'll talk about a few things about the grid. Let's dig into it. So here I have my example session and you'll notice here I have my grid value up here. So this is a one measure grid value. And you'll notice if I click here, you can also click in other spots to get the same drop down, but I like to click here for some reason. You can actually select the value for your grid. So right now it's on one bar. If I click on half note, you'll notice that these lines will become twice as frequent. Bam, it added a little half note line for me. So that's how you adjust the grid in Pro Tools. If you don't see your grid, for example, it looks like this, even though you're in grid mode, you have to be in grid mode. But if you don't see the grid, it's still there. See how it's going by whatever it is, half a note increments. It's still there. The grid's still there. You're just not visually seeing it. So all you have to do is click here to bring it back in. So if we want to work with triplets in Pro Tools, for example, let us let me switch to, let's say, quarter notes here. So here are my quarter notes. So you can see these darker lines are the measure lines. And I have one quarter note, two quarter notes, three quarter notes, four quarter notes, four quarter notes to a measure. Makes sense, right? So if I want to switch this over to triplets, what I can do, let me zoom in on this amount of space here. And actually, I'll make this wider here. What I can do is I can click on this and I can just select triplet here. And you'll notice that the way this is broken up is going to change based on it being a triplet. So let's click on that. And now you'll notice I have triplet, triplet. So there are six triplets in this measure, right? If I change the value here, it's going to make it different, right? So chunks of three, one three chunk, another three chunk, another three chunk, another three chunk right? So one, two, three, four. So these are my triplet values. So for example, if I solo this kick here, and I, for example, switch it back to just regular straight up quarter notes, what do I have? One, two, three, four. So I actually do have them on the quarter notes here. So here we go. One, two, three, four. If I then want to switch them to triplets, let's swap it over to a triplet. And now the grid lines are on the triplets. So I can just drag these and really quickly and easily make them triplets. I don't have to be precious about it. Bullet, triple, triple, right? And that's it. That's how you do it. So same idea. If you are using this, you do want to make sure that you undo it when you're going back to the regular regular values here. But you can do the same idea here with the dotted note, right? So if you notice within this measure, when I click dotted, it's going to switch to a slightly different value, right? So whereas with a triplet, we're taking the beat value and we're splitting it into three parts, three equal parts. With a dotted note, we're taking the note value and we're adding 50% to it, right? So if we have, for example, a quarter note, a dotted quarter note, it's as if you took a quarter note and added an eighth note to it. So for example, if I have, here's one dotted note and we are on quarter note, if I take this off and then I switch to eighth notes, you should notice that it's the same amount as three eighth notes, right? So one quarter plus an eighth note. So you can more easily work with dotted note values without actually using this dotted note feature. You just have to be aware of what your grid value is and work with it that way. But uh, with triplets, it is a little harder, you know, to visually see what's going on. You can't always feel it out though if you if you want. You can always just hold command, suspend the grid, and drag things freely and kind of feel it out, right? But I do like using the triplet feature a good amount whenever I have to do triplets. So and I think that's basically it for this shorty video. One thing to keep in mind is that you can look and see what the grid value is here. So you'll notice when I have a triplet, it adds the little three for me. 
when I'm in dotted note world, it adds the little dot for me. So you can actually visually see what's going on there pretty quickly. And you'll notice that as I'm changing the grid values here, as I'm changing it around, that it's not moving these for me. So for example, I set these to triplets. If I want, I could set the next measure to being on quarter notes, right? So you can switch things up like that. It's not going to automatically shift everything for you or do anything like that. Um, I believe, you know, unless there's some kind of a setting that I'm not thinking about right now. I believe when you have the track in elastic audio mode, it, it still does not do it. Let's try it here. So if I were to change this, let's just change it to triplet. Yeah, it's not moving them around. So you're safe. You're safe from that if you're worried about that. Um, with this, it'll change it if you change the tempo, though. So just be careful with that. I tend to not work in elastic audio mode unless I'm consciously going into it and then consciously going out of it. But that's a topic for another video. Hopefully someone finds this helpful, you know, working with triplets, working with data notes in Pro Tools, a little bit about the grid. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash noise. We have a Discord server we're hanging out on. We have a book club on the Discord server. There's some additional content on my website for Patreon patrons. And I really appreciate my Patreon patrons because they help me stay independent and nerdy. So thank you so much if you're on my Patreon and I come out with new videos every Wednesday and thank you so much for hanging out. Okay. I've been drinking my water with a boba straw for like a week now. I'm really, really enjoying it.